Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we have a 2023 Mazda CX-30 and we're going to be taking a look at and doing an installation on the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver. This is going to be a one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch receiver tube that is going to mount to the rear of your vehicle to allow you to carry different accessories such as bike racks, smaller cargo carriers, or maybe even tow a trailer with a ball mount. Speaking of towing a trailer, it's going to have nice large safety chain loops to accept various different types of safety chains and it's going to feature a half inch hitch pin hole to accept a half inch hitch pin. This does not come with your kit but we do have them available on our website. Now your weight capacities for this hitch are going to be a max tongue weight of 200 pounds and a max gross trailer towing weight of 2,000 pounds. As for a measurement from the ground to the top inside of the receiver tube, uh, we are on a seven and a half inch lift here. So we'll subtract that from our total number. So that's gonna be about 13 and a half inches um, off the ground to the top inside of the receiver tube. This is good to keep in mind for any accessories that you might have or might wanna get. You definitely wanna look for a rise in the shank. A distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside of our bumper is gonna be about four inches. So this is good to keep in mind if you're looking for any accessories that might come close to the rear bumper. You should have no problems with opening the rear hatch because the rear hatch is so small, um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we need to lower our exhaust. In order to do that, we need to disconnect two of our exhaust hangers on both sides. What we need to do is support our exhaust so that it doesn't fall when we unhook them. So we're just using a cam buckle strap to support it and then we can lower it once we have those removed. We can do this by taking a pry bar and pushing off the rubber isolator. We'll just repeat this for the remaining three. Now we can lower our exhaust. If you're doing this insulation from the ground, which you can, uh, maybe just take a block of wood or something and put it underneath this exhaust pipe in order to support it. Now what we're going to do is we need to enlarge the third from the rear, this hole here. So we have one, two, three, and we're going to enlarge this until we can fit our carriage bolt head through it. We're using a die grinder today, but you can use a Dremel or a file, um, really anything to get it opened up a little bit. If you're having trouble getting your drill up into place in order to widen that hole, it is just two nuts to take off the muffler itself. So we're going to do that to give us ourselves a little bit more room. And once you get your hole enlarged big enough to fit your bolt head through, we can take some clear coat and hit the edges so that it'll help prevent rust and corrosion over time. And we'll do the same process on the other side of the frame. Before we run our hardware, we do need to take a razor blade and clean out any extra coating that is on the inside of this rearmost hole. And we'll do that on both sides. When we go to run our hardware, what we're gonna do is we're going to thread this up through our first hole and then come out that hole we just enlarged. We'll take our fish wire, the coiled end, slide it up into the frame, reach up into that hole we just enlarged, and pull it down. I'll put a bigger bend on that so it doesn't go back up through, but we'll start with our spacer block and then our carriage bolt. We'll do the same thing for the rear hole. For the next hole, we're gonna be using the second hole in our frame. So we'll bend our fish wire again, run it up through and out our enlarged hole.
just like that. And we'll repeat this process on the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch up into place. If you leave your fish wires on, it helps to line up the bolts. So raise it up. Pull off our fish wire. And thread on a nut to hold our hitch in place. Now we'll repeat this for the remaining hardware. Now we can torque our hardware to the specifications in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, uh, we do have them available on our website, or you can rent them from a local auto parts store. At this time, if you removed your muffler, you can throw it back on and reinstall the exhaust hangers. And that's gonna do it for your installation of the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver on our 2023 Mazda CX-30.